Hello friends, this video on fractions part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we learned about fraction, in fact we got a basic idea about fraction. So let's look at few questions. Question number 1. What fraction of a day is 8 hours? Now how many hours exist in a day? So one day has 24 hours. So what fraction of one day is 8 hours? That means 8 hours out of 24 hours. So 8 by 24, 8, 3 is a 24. So this is 1 by 3. So one third of the day is 8 hours. Question number 2. Kanchan dyes dresses. She had to dye 30 dresses. She has so far finished 20 dresses. What fraction of dresses has she finished? So how many has she finished? So the number of dresses that she has already finished dyeing is 20. And how many total number of dresses does she have? She has 30. So therefore what fraction of the dresses has she already dyed? So the fraction of dresses she has already dyed is 20 out of 30. Because she has dyed 20 dresses out of a total of 30. So 20 by 30. So this 10 to the 20, 10 to the 30. So this is 2 by 3. So we can say that two third of the dresses has already been finished. Question number three. Write the natural numbers from 2 to 12. So let's start writing the natural numbers. It's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. What fraction of them are prime numbers? So first let us uh, mark the prime numbers. So 2 is a prime number. 3 is also a prime number, 4 is not a prime number, 5 is again a prime number, 7 is a prime number, 11 is a prime number. So these are the prime numbers. Now just a quick recap, I hope you remember what is a prime number. Any such number whose, which has only two factors, that is 1 and itself. That means for example 2, 2 has only two factors, 1 and 2. Similarly 3 has only two factors, 1 and 3. But when you look at 4, 4 has three factors, 1, 2 and 4. So besides 1 and 4, it also has some other factors. So therefore, 4 is not a prime number. So any number which has only two factors, 1 and itself is a prime number. So here these are the prime numbers. So therefore, how many prime numbers do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 prime numbers. And total, how many numbers do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Therefore, what fraction of the total numbers are prime? 5 out of 11 numbers are prime. So 5 by 11 is the fraction of prime numbers. Question number 4. Kristen received a CD player for her birthday. She bought 3 CDs and received 5 others as gift. What fraction of her total CDs did she buy and what fraction did she receive as gifts? Okay, so first of all, we have to find out how many total CDs does Kristen have. So total CDs that she has is 3 plus 5. 3 she bought and 5 she received as gift. So therefore, she has a total of 8 CDs. So what fraction of the CDs she bought? So fraction she bought. That means how many CDs out of the total number of CDs did she buy? So she bought 3 CDs, 3 out of 8 is being bought by her. So 3 eighths of the CDs are the ones which she bought. Now what about the fraction which she received as gift? So how many did she receive as gift? 5. So 5 out of 8 CDs she received as gift. So these are the fraction of CDs which she bought and which she received as gifts. Question number 5. Identify the error if any. This is 1 by 2. So do you think this is 1 by 2? No, not really. That's because whenever we say 1 by 2, we mean one part out of two parts where all the parts are equal. Only then we can say, right, that one part out of two parts. But in this case, you see, these are not equal parts. So if you really want to divide, I mean, if you really want to show 1 by 2 in the same diagram, you need to divide it in this fashion. So in this case, each of these parts would be 1 by 2 because both are equal parts. So this would definitely be 1 by 2. 
in this case this is 1 by 4 do you think this is 1 by 4 because it definitely divides it into four parts this but these four parts are not four equal parts therefore this is not 1 by 4 if you really want to see how would how can we denote 1 by 4 we could, we could have divided this rectangle in this fashion such that each of these parts would have been 1 by 4 the third one this is 3 by 4 the shaded portion is three parts but all the four parts are not equal so we cannot call it as 3 by 4 so let us actually denote 3 by 4 so in that case we will have to divide it into equal halves and then this three parts out of four parts would be 3 by 4. So in this case, this shaded region would be 3 by 4. Question number 6. What fraction of the image is shaded? So let us, so let us look at the first image which is a flower. So what fraction of this image do you think is shaded? Shaded means how many of these are colored in blue? So let's first count the total number of petals. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So total number of petals is 8. And how many shaded petals do you have? That is how many blue petals do you have? You have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 of them are shaded. So what fraction of them are shaded? 4 out of 8 petals are shaded. So 4 to the 8 which is nothing but 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 or half of the petals are shaded. Let's look at the second one. Here you see that it is a kind of a butterfly where you see half of the butterfly is shaded. You see this is a circle, half of the circle is shaded. Again when you look at this shape, half of the shape is shaded. Two of the wings are shaded and two of them are not shaded. So we can, by looking at this, we can say that half of the image is shaded. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.